Fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, we've got the Tag Heuer Hiroshi Fujiwara Fragment Design Carrera Formula One coming up. Here we've got, fresh from the showcase, this is a reference uh, CA2201A. So I had to look at my notes to make sure I got that right. But this was designed in conjunction with uh, Tag Heuer with Hiroshi Fujiwara, who is the godfather of Japanese streetwear. Now, if you're like me, you know, I don't look like a guy that would follow Japanese streetwear, I'm sure. But this guy has had incredible impact on everything that he has touched. And he has touched the watch world. He has designed guitars for Eric Clapton. He's designed things for Nike. Um, he has uh, collaborated with Louis Vuitton and uh, really ended up making kind of a brand friend with the LVMH group, which includes Hublot, Zenith watches, uh, Tag Heuer, lots of great brands with, uh, under that LVMH umbrella. And what has happened is that he has a, a mentality because he has been influenced by London fashion, New York, as well as Japan. He has sort of synthesized all these things together. And one of the things that I find fascinating about his design approach is he said that there is a simplicity that is a quality of both Japanese design and Swiss design. And it makes him view Switzerland as sort of the ground zero for all great designs. So naturally, he ended up designing with some watch companies. There are Zenith versions of uh, his watches that he has collaborated with them. And there are Rolex versions that he has specifically designed and executed. Some really fascinating, really nice Rolex designs. If you look up uh, his Daytona, I think it's one of the most beautiful watches I've ever seen. So it just makes sense that once he met the head of LVMH watches at the time, Jean-Claude Bevere, that they would become quick buddies and they share a passion for fashion, for watches, and for racing. And so, of course, the Tag Heuer Formula One got his treatment. And they've done a few different additions. Uh, his brand is called Fragment. That is why when you look at the dial, you'll see down there around the four or five o'clock mark, it does have the word Fragment. And this whole journey for me started out because I got a, a question on our, uh, on our chat line on the website, why does it say fragment on this watch? So I have, of course, had to look into it. I really didn't know. And uh, I was amazed that uh, what I found out that um, Hiroshi Fujiwara has a, a sort of a, a relevance to younger buyers. Um, the, he's, uh, been super smart about the way he has marketed his brand fragment. Uh, he has lots of uh, socially relevant uh, influencers and um, social media savvy people that are ambassadors of his brand that have really taken the world by storm. But it's interesting, he went back into the tag, Hoy well, let's call it the properly the Hoyer history to the 1963 Carrera for his uh, inspiration. And he used a lot of the, uh, the C case uh, designs. He's used the Octavia as well as the Carrera. This particular one is from 2020 and it was a limited edition of only 500 pieces that were made. And I think it's one of my favorite ones that I've ever seen. It's the Formula One series, which celebrates the Hoyer racing heritage that goes way back to the early 1900s. But look at the simplicity of the dial. It has just acres of plain black, which I think is so cool looking when we are, have become so used to lots of different levels on the dial, lots of guilloche, lots of decoration. To see something that's just so simple and such a truly Japanese looking design to it, it it's really refreshing. You see a lot of red accents on it. Uh, the hands are loomed, but only the hands. There are no other loom plots anywhere on it. At 12 o'clock, you'll see the Fragment brand signature, as well as down uh, on the four or five, as we mentioned. It has a ceramic tachymeter bezel. The crystal, of course, is sapphire. 
Brand new for the um, Formula One series is this bracelet, a five-link bracelet with a double deployant butterfly clasp. The case back is red sapphire. And if you turn it the right way in the light, you can see again, the fragment signature is etched into it. The movement is the fantastic Hoyer 02, which is their most advanced chronograph movement. It has an 80 hour power reserve. It is a column wheel vertical clutch chronograph. And so it's interesting when you look at this dial, realize one of the reasons it's so clean and so sparse is that there is no running seconds hand anywhere on the dial. And that's because with the vertical clutch, you can run the chronograph all the time and use the chronograph hand as you're running seconds hand. It really cleans up the dial a lot in ways that I hadn't even thought about before now. But I uh, love the movement. Um, the designer has a cult status as do the Hoyer watches. Um, and I think that as you look at this watch and you realize that it's just really an unparalleled value proposition to get one of 500 that is such an amazing design from two incredible design houses that perfectly executes the mechanics as well as the visual design of the watch, you're absolutely gonna love it. So uh, I think that so far, this is one of my favorite Hoyer watches and it's really cool design. Definitely made me look more into the designer and his legacy. You can go on our website right up top where it says search 2000 plus watches. Go to SwissWatchExpo.com, search the word fragment and this watch will pop up if we've still got it in stock. If not, maybe we've gotten some other ones since then, but uh, we'd love to put it on your wrist.